So today we're going to be talking about my Altifors Mini Hatchet and my Altifors Stone Sharpener. And I'm also going to go through how I sharpen my Mini Hatchet. Let's get into it. Yeah! Alrighty, let me show you the Mini Hatchet to start off with. Now this is actually classed as the Ajelshorn Mini Hatchet. Now Ajelshorn is a Swedish lake, so it's named after a Swedish lake. Um, and this is actually hand forged in Sweden. So I'll just take the leather sheaf off. And as you can see, mine's been used a few times already. I've got a little bit of surface rust on there. Oh no, it's not surface rust, sorry, it's just basically the timber that I've been chopping up. But yeah, so this is basically the short handle, which is um, very lightweight. It's easy to use and easy to carry. Um, hence why I bought this one. Um, basically, I can fit this um, hatchet straight into my toolbox, which is very handy. And it's um, obviously a little bit lighter than the rest of them out there with a longer handle. Um, the hatchet itself is basically hand forged and made in, from Swedish quality steel. The steel head is struck um, 40 to 60 times to increase the density and durability to the head. Um, this axe is named basically after the nearby lake which where, where Ajelshon comes from. So basically the lake itself, Ajelshon, was used to um, basically work the water wheel that forged the head itself back in the day. Now the timber itself um, is made from American hickory and it's treated with linseed oil. So it's a very good quality axe. Now I did pay $150 for this axe and I purchased it from a little knife shop in Harndorf. Now Harndorf is in South Australia it's basically just east of Adelaide. Um, if you've never been to Harndorf, I definitely recommend going there. Such a beautiful little town. Another great thing that I loved <clears throat> is that the shop itself um, has such good stuff in there. Um, and unfortunately, because of what's been going off lately with the coronavirus and then the bushfires early on in the year, and the shop was almost ready to close down because their business has just obviously dropped. Um, so me just going in there, finding such beautiful quality items in there, um, I was so happy to spend my money just to help those guys out. So yeah, I'm very happy with this axe so far. Um, please stay tuned for tomorrow because um, tomorrow I will show you how I use this axe and how I chop up kindling and how I chop up my firewood for the fire. And I'll give you guys a few handy tips that I've learned along the way um, that some of you may not know yet um, or I've ever seen when it comes to chopping up firewood. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So this is the um, grinding stone for my axe. Now I paid, um, I bought this from the same shop um, I paid $60 for this grinded stone and as you can see it's got a coarse and a fine side to it and then it's grooved out in the middle basically to get your fingers inside while you're grinding while you're sharpening your tools um, now the coarse grit is 180 grit so not overly rough and then the fine is basically a 600 I don't know if you can see the markings on there already now that's not from sharpening my axe itself. I actually use this to sharpen my filleting knife. So yeah, today I basically just wanted to show everybody um, me sharpening my mini hatchet. Um, and I'll, obviously you'll see the before and after. Um, the grinding stone is 75 millimeters in diameter and weighs roughly about 220 grams. Comes with a nice, beautiful leather cover. For it as well so very high quality materials that you've got here hence why you pay pay the price for it like I've always said you, you get what you pay for all right let's get straight into it shall we and get uh, sharpening this uh, hatchet 
So the first thing we're going to need is a, a bowl with some water and you need to basically place your grinding stone into that water. Now if you can see there, there's bubbles all coming out of the stone. So once those bubbles have stopped, basically that means that all the water has been penetrated into your grinding stone. So we'll let that sit for a couple of minutes. Now if you are going to do this, um, just make sure you've got a towel because it does get quite messy and also have like a nice dry cloth as well so you can wipe off any excess dirt from the actual axe itself. So yeah, let's, while we're waiting for that stone to soak in, let's talk about the sheath that uh, comes with the hatchet itself. Um, the only downside that I've seen to this particular sheath is that um, the studs to join the leather together are right at the end where you obviously your hacks head blade goes to, um, which could potentially blunt or cause damage to the axe head itself. But other than that, honestly, such good quality. Just love the smell of leather. Oh, so nice. All right, so I'm just like I've used this quite a few times already, and it's still a little bit sharp, but definitely needs a good grind on there. I did accidentally miss the chopping when I was chopping up the wood. I accidentally missed the the base and just hit the ground a little bit. Hence why there's a few little marks. I don't know if you can see that on the blade itself. So we'll just work it and get those out. All right, so that should be long enough. So we'll obviously start with the coarse side of the stone. And basically just get a nice comfortable position and just start grinding away. Hopefully that's not too loud on my audio. Now when I bought this hatchet, um, basically you can get a piece of paper and just slice the paper with it. So that's how sharp it actually was. So let's see if we can uh, copy, get it back to its original state when I first bought it. So that's what I'm saying about how it gets a bit dirty. Um, that's why you need a towel underneath you, because that's where it's gonna get a bit messy. There's no rush here. Just gently work at it. Now this is the area I need to work most on because that's where I chipped it. All the other edge should be pretty good to go so I shouldn't really need to get too rough on that side. Alright, let's give that a wipe. As you can see there, I don't know if you can see that on there, there's still a little chip in there. But what I'll do is I'll work to the other side now. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so there's still a little chip. Oh, she's sharp though. She's really nice and sharp already. So what I'll do is I'll go to the uh, fine side now. As you can probably tell by the noise there, how much finer this is. And this is where you're going to get that shine back. You just got to be patient when you're basically sharpening any tool. And 
Now, if any of you want to have a look at these items, I'll leave a link in the description below. So it'll take you straight to the websites. Both the uh, hatchet and the grinder itself. Please don't forget to um, like and subscribe to the channel as well. And if you don't want to miss any other videos that I put up, then press that bell notification. You'll then be notified next time I put a video up. Alrighty, so I reckon I've been working at that for a couple of minutes now. Let's see what she looks like. Alright, so she's not too bad. Let's just get her a few more minutes. Now, I don't know if any of you are wondering, you know, why do you need, is that even capable of chopping any timber up? It's so small. Well, I'll show you tomorrow, guys, and you will see how good this axe actually is. She's small, but I'll tell you what, she is, she is mighty. Alrighty, I think we've been on that for another couple of minutes already. Let's check it out. Yeah, she's looking good that side, I reckon. Nice. All right, let's do the uh, the other side. I don't have any piece of paper on me at the minute, but I'll try and find some. Let's see if I've lived up to the uh, my expectations of sharpening tools. Show you how sharp this can actually get. Now if you want to do any research on this particular hatchet that I've got, there are plenty of YouTube videos online that you can uh, watch. If some of you don't know, I was actually a cabinet maker for 12 years, so I'm a sucker when it comes to good quality tools. This actual hatchet itself as well, when you, if you do watch any other YouTube videos, you'll see that um, they're carving wooden bowls out of these hatchets. That's how sharp this thing is. It can actually be used as a carving tool. Now this could easily, if you're out hiking, and you're going to be staying in the woods or whatever you know like this is such a lightweight hatchet that you can just stick in the in your backpack so when you do bunker down you can quite easily chop some firewood with it alrighty I think we've been going for a couple of minutes on this already Take a look. Oh. So yeah, I've still got that indent there, but eventually that'll come out. It's not going to prevent me from chopping up my firewood at all. Oh, she's super sharp. So sharp. Alrighty. Um, let's see if I can get a bit of paper and show you how sharp this is. Alrighty, so I've managed to steal a bit of paper from the kids. So she's definitely um, nice and sharp. So as you can see, I can pretty much Shave my hairs off my arm. That's how sharp this thing can basically get. Alrighty everyone, so there was a little short video for you of my mini hatchet, my stone sharpener, and how I sharpen my axe. I hope you enjoyed it.
And don't forget to tune in tomorrow guys because I'm going to be showing you how to chop up firewood, especially kindling. And I'm also going to give you a few handy tips that I've learned along the way. So please guys, if you like the video, don't forget to give us that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to press that bell notification so you're notified next time I put a video up. Thanks for watching guys. Take it easy. See you on the next one.